right, our frank talk uh, continues with Jeff Makubu. Let's just round off this issue of corruption and so on. There's an issue about law enforcement in the city, right? A lot of crime and so on, you know. Um, you know, when they say gangster's paradise, it's just, just people just doing as they please. Right? Um, uh, do you think that the adding of 1,000 police uh, or, or JMPD officers was a good thing? Was it the pipeline? Uh, and if it wasn't, why is it that uh, there has never been such a, uh, such a uh, if you like, a push to increase the JMPD so that they can, they can really just, you know, patrol our streets and make people feel a lot safer? JJ, one of the unfortunate things was when uh, the, the now outgone mayor yeah. cancelled what we called Jobek 10 plus. Yeah. Uh, under, under Pakistan, we had a program where there would be a minimum of 10 police officers mm. together with two vehicles, JMP vehicles. Yeah. When we say plus, we want a building inspector, a health inspector, an yeah. environmental inspector, park ranger in a ward. Basically, yeah. they, they sit in there 24 hours. If it's fire, fire during the day, yeah. they, then it's, it, it's, it's sitting <coughs> there. And part of the plan, because we, we, you know, wards grew, you know, from 130 to 135, yeah. was to continuously increase the number of police officers. Yes. Of, of police, police officers. Of the so there was a plan. So there's, there's, there's a, the, the 10 plus was there. I mean, if you see the old cars, they would say region D, ward 34. Yeah. Would even... Uh, uh, label them according, la label them according to, to the plan. So there were not enough... Uh, uh, police officers to uh, even do roadblocks to do other other work. So yeah. so there was a plan in place. I know that we had an MTF budget to say how do we increase not only police officers, how do we increase yeah. other law enforcement like you know building control inspectors and all that and all that. Yes. So it was unfortunate that they took it as one of the pet projects that that were cancelled. There would have been wars. You know if if you go to Tefon Day, yeah. what are you saying right now? It's no longer like that. Even though they added 1,000 uh, 500 officers last week. The, the plan, the, the, the 10 plus was not there anymore. And it's something that we still think that, we, we call it ward-based policing. Yeah. That you have to police at your own locality. I mean, we're asking ourselves questions like, and I mean, you can take it as a joke. If you go to Cyril Dean, you find lots of Chinese uh, doing crime there. How do you police people you don't understand what they say? What they say? I mean, yeah. that's at the what level, at the granular level. How then do you deal with crime? Yeah. Uh, at the, so, so we want to go back to that to yeah. that. To so that you're saying the adding of the 1,500 doesn't have. take into account that what system? No. It's just a number, big number. It, it's a big number. I mean, I, I, we, don't, we don't know what, what the plan was, yeah. but we think that 1,500 police are welcome in the city of Johannesburg. Yeah. Uh, that we can add. All I say is that you have to deploy, deploy them, them accordingly. accordingly in a manner that even communities themselselves can, can, can feel can feel uh, can feel safe and there'll yeah. be visible policing. Remember, they will be working with subs as well yeah. in those localities. Uh, so, so we yeah. think that the people. Well, what about safe. the 600 illegal buildings? That sounds like extraordinary number, man. Is, is it an exaggeration? Because we I can. Uh, I could imagine if it was 60, I would still find it extraordinary that 60 people somewhere don't pay rent, are, are not authorized to run a building, and then they have people there, probably uh, you know, unhealthy, unsafe, etc. Can you explain briefly what that? We, we are still to report to receive a report. Yeah. What I know during 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 our time is that we the the the. the problem of abandoned buildings yeah. where we can't trace owners where the buildings have been hijacked yeah. we were systematically dealing with it it's not only in Hilbro, in Peria, yeah. in, in the inner city it's in your places like uh, yeah. Windsor East Windsor West are you saying this number is not believable I'm saying I'm still to receive a report I, I just but think during that your Kenya, or did you, I mean as, as MMC then for finance surely this you, you would have, been, have, have had to look at this because this is where to be a revenue stream of people paying the rates. There, there, there was a large number. I'm, I'm not sure about 600. Yeah. And maybe others increased over time. Yeah. But we had a, a scheme called the Inner City Property Scheme. And before that, we had the Better Buildings Program, where, you know, abandoned buildings, uh, those yeah. that are not paying, would be abandoned to the city. Yeah. So the city would take them. So, so the program that... Uh, 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 the city now has been talking about here. Yeah. We've got cities, we're releasing 84 buildings. That they must have started it long ago with better buildings program. Yeah. Um, uh, came it's nothing in, new. It's, ah, no, 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 no. As I say, you comment <laughs> on everything, including when a, when a red passes. That I have to give to him. That uh, <laughs> no, no, the PR, the PR was uh, was very good. The PR Let's go was to very, very good. Social media. Come on, what do you have there? 
Thank you, JJ. Of course, yeah. plenty of questions continue to come through. Let's take a look at Spiro here saying, what we do know is that this ANC fellow will get in and promise to do away with ETOL, just like Makura did. Um, whilst we know that the ANC loves seeing ETOL gantries and wants them. So if the <laughs> ANC takes over Joburg, the JMPD will arrest ETOL defaulters. Let's take a look at the next um, <laughs> comment coming in on Twitter, um, saying that um, Mokobo must tell the people of um, Josie, I'm assuming about the corrupt regiment steel, is Mokobo ready for a lifestyle audit? Mm. Given from Kempton Park on WhatsApp saying, please ask the mayor if he wins, what is he going to do about the illegal immigrants in the city? Of course, you just spoke now about it, about the buildings, JJ, and saying yeah. that what does he think of former mayor Herbin Mashaba's performance? And then a final one for now from Moiketi from Alex saying, what makes Jeff a better candidate than Musa Novella? And will he do differently than Herman Mashaba did? Quite a, a relevant point in All question right. there, JJ. It's yeah. back to you. Unfortunately, thank you. Thank you, Kami. Unfortunately, we don't have time to deal with everything. But, but quickly, just, just get this one out. Lifestyle audit, if they said subject yourself to that, you are happy. Happy. Happy, happy to do it. All right. It, it tells, I don't know whether it's, it's, a, it's a municipal company, but it's, it's, it seems to suggest that when you come in, this 1,000 officers are going to arrest <laughs> it all defaulters. I'm sure that's not the case. That will get you fired from the ANC. <laughs> well, well, I mean, there's no, there's no, is it a crime not to pay it all? So, I mean, you arrest criminals. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then illegal immigrants, briefly, brief answer. How are we going to deal with that? We, we need to deal with the issue of migration. Yeah. Um, and, and those who are illegal need to, 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 we need to work with home affairs to deal with migration. Yeah. Again, uh, no, you can't allow illegality in our city. Yeah. All right. And then uh, out of 10, what would you give him and Mashaba in terms of his performance as a mayor? PR, nine. Actual work, three out of 10. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, with the remaining time, three things that if you are elected mayor, first of all, I will invite you to come next week. Right. Uh, I would like to take you, if you are mayor, to go and, 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 and interact with, co with, with communities at the roadblock so we can just introduce you and talk to your police and what if you. Uh, okay. So I hope you'll come. You won't be inaccessible when you are mayor. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the three things that you think I could judge you with if you are mayor this week and, you, and in a year's time I invite you? Three things. My, my first would be what I call the daily experience of the citizen of Johannesburg, which is your basics. Okay. Robots must be working, portals must be closed, grass must be cut, etc., yeah. um, etc. Et okay. Two is... You believe that's not happening enough? No, that's not happening enough. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's something that you need to be engaged with. Yeah. Uh, because a happy citizen is a citizen who pays, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, two, two, we need to deal with uh, the, 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 the inner cities, not only the one inner city, which is this one. Yeah. You know, we have run back inner city. Yes. We've got... Uh, yeah, the former, is in trouble. <laughs> the former road port in a city, yeah. for the former midrand in a, so so you have to deal with what inner cities that are in a state of decay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's how then do we, including the the, the yeah. inner city. But they didn't they didn't get into decay the last three years. They have been in decay for a long. No, time. No, I agree. I yeah. agree that uh, even decay is not three years. Yeah, it, 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 it happens over time. It's how but you need to reverse it. How do you reverse it? Progress. It's actually a worldwide city program. Yeah, uh, pro, uh, cities problem. Um, in a city's decay, in other cities in the world, they build new cities. Uh, you know, uh, you, when you go to Rabat, when you go to Paris, they'll say that's the old city. Yeah, this is the new city. When you talk, all right. Of, uh, and the third area. Well, the third area would be more, much more uh, transformational in how then do we intensify the, the infrastructure rollout programs, yeah. which is your, what people need. Yeah. How you respond but Mashawa claims that he has attracted 32 billion rand uh, for infrastructure development in the city. Are you aware of it as a councillor? I've seen the reports on the media. I have not. In the media? <laughs> I've not. I've not uh, from who? <coughs> where is it? Who's benefiting from it? Yeah. How many jobs have been created? Yeah. We're we'll still to find out. We're we'll still to find if, out. If it's there, We'll congratulate him. But yeah. if it's not there, we'll come back to you and say it's not there. Yeah. And, 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 and the way you look at it now, I mean, we are giving him three out of ten. Does that apply to the MMCs? So these MMCs will have to pack and go. In any case, when the mayor goes, yeah. the MMC goes. What I'm saying is that your MMC group won't be a multi-party MMC group. You, you, can, you have to get rid of the ones who are there and start from scratch. No, no, no. That, that, because that, that, you have, you've, let, you've got 18 months left. Well, well we, 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 it will be a multi-party. Uh, to be a multi-party. Multi -party. Um, we, we, we will still go back to the party and see how then do we, do, we, do we put it together. Because we need to take, we need to unify the city. One, yeah. one thing that, if you look at council itself, yeah. uh, Mashaba may, 
managed to, to, to divide that council. Um, you know, it's stuck. The divisions are stuck in that council. You mm. know, it's not, we, don't, we don't act in unison like uh, yeah. public, 270 public reps of the city. Yeah. But his team of MMCs was a, was, a, was a collection from different parties, isn't it? Well, it's just only one other party. It was the IFP. IFP. The nine, nine of them were from, the, were from the DA. Yeah, so they'll have to go and be in the benches and, and do what you Well, if, if, they, if they lose, uh, they'll have to join us, to join those in the, in, the, in, the, in the benches. Remember, if we lose, we sit where we are. Yeah. There, there's no... <laughs> There's no movement. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you lose, we, nothing changes for us yeah. uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but if you win, you, you have 18 months to, to, to make a difference yeah, ahead yes. of the next election. Yes. And it's about the people. It's not really about the ANC and 2021. Yes, of yeah. course, as a politician. You see, the ANC was a little bit impatient being in the opposition bench, given that you, have, you tabled motions of no confidence against the mayor. There's only one motion of no confidence yeah. in 2017 that was debated. The one that they, uh, that, that they prevented from happening was a second motion. Of oh, I see. Yeah. There's not been any other. Okay. Um, so when they say three, four times, they're living in their own world. This is the second motion that they prevented, that we withdrew in August. Yeah. They prevented in, in, in September. Right. It's still on the table as we speak. Okay. Oh, no, but he's out now. But we will we'll, we'll <laughs> throw it on, the, on, 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 on yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Wish you well. Thank you very much. Uh, if you make it, you promise you come with me next week. I promise to, to the roadblock, so I, we can we can see wish the, the citizens well uh, for the festives. I promise to, to come to the studio and yeah. go with you to the roadblock and yeah. go with you to Park Perfect. Station and go with you to yeah, Barra, 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 Barra Barra And you must bring your PR from three to nine. Mashaba, the other way around. You must bring yours. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate your time. All right, that's Jeff Makuba there. We're wishing him well uh, ahead of the election on Thursday. We don't know what's going to happen there. There's uh, still a lot of... Uh, Wednesday, yeah. Is it on Wednesday? Yeah, we, 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 are, we, are, we are waiting with bated breath to see what will happen there. Of course, uh, on Sundays we end early, but stay tuned after the uh, headlines we've come in that we'll be playing uh, the, the transformation conversation we had with the BBC uh, earlier on, Khan Kimatawane there, uh, around the table talking about the meeting they had with President Ramaphosa about the economy, a whole lot of discussion there about how we, we grow the economy. That's coming up after the news with uh, Carmen Ready. But until we talk frankly again, may God bless you. <laughs>